What do you want me to say? Did I like it that you went out with him? I'm taking any notes here. Something is wrong with Christine. I've got a scotch in my hand. I'll be damned if I'll apologize to you or anybody for that. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. You want to be treated like a sergeant, then you act like a sergeant. I hated it. Hate that feeling. What do old Tiffany do? Run off with the quarterback? We don't know. Bobby Jr.'s not talking. To say the truth, he's not doing much of anything. He'll get over her. For six months, all I wanted him to do was stuff a sock in it. Now I want him to talk, he's not talking. Hey, he got dumped, Mary Beth. So today, it's the end of the world. By next week, his hungry little hormones won't even remember her name. He's so hurt. Trust me on this one. Huh? I know what I'm talking about here. A little rejection is good for the soul. Time heals all wounds. A rolling teenager gathers no moss. Mr. Potter seemed very happy to see you again. Nice shooting, Mary Beth. The man in the elevator today. Gorgeous, terrific sense of humor and perfect teeth. I didn't notice him. Are you accepting his invitation? For what, dinner sometime? Don't hold your breath. Why would he ask for your number? He was being polite, Mary Beth. As I remember, you thought he was very interesting. Scarf looks great, Josie. I sat next to him at a French film festival. After three nights of heavy breathing, he looked interesting. I will never understand why you go to those things. Logic's got nothing to do with it. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Potter already had a message waiting Mary on your Beth. machine. All Beth. right, OK. You're right. He probably won't call. You're not really dating anyhow. Right? Right. Except for David. David and I are seeing each other strictly as friends. Right. You're just not going to let go of this one, are you? Did I say anything? Fine. Just to make you happy, I'll check my messages. Hey, you two taking a day off or what? DA's riding my butt looking for your Murphy deposition. And you said he wouldn't miss us. We shot it over to him yesterday. Yeah, well, he never got it. Oh, this just came in. He said he wanted to look see. Thank you, Sergeant. And how is Mr. Potter? <laughs> I'll be sure and ask. What's that? Uh, it's a computer heist in a 2-1. Does it look like our first? It's worth checking out. Maybe we'll get lucky. Speaking of which, <laughs> have a nice evening. Yes, tell Harvard Junior to keep his chin up. There are lots of fish in the sea. And girls.
Hello? Is Brad Potter, please? It's lucky the ref didn't toss him out. <laughs> Are you kidding? The team gave him the game ball, autograph. <laughs> the old man sounds like he was a hell of a guy. Yeah, I thought he was. Pop sure loves the Knicks. <laughs> My father still thinks the Knicks are something you play tennis in. <laughs> you know, it just so happens that I have two tickets for Friday's game. Against Boston? Courtside. How are you with the refs? Oh, I'm merciless. Good. You got a date. <laughs> Taxi! Chris, that's OK. I'll take you home. My car's just around the corner. Tony's away for the week. I'm impressed. Neighbors who actually look out for each other. So tell me you're some New York cynic. No way. I love the city. Yeah. Thank you. I had a nice time, Brad. Is there any chance that I might charm my way in for a drink? Um, not tonight, I'm sorry. I'd just like to take this kind of slow. Slow it is. Thanks. Till Friday. Okay, Friday. Night, Chris. Night. <laughs> Bye. He's awake in there, Harvey. Come to bed, sweetheart. His light is on. I guess he's awake then. It's hard to sleep with the light on. Harv, I think we have to try and talk with him again. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts, babe. Mary Beth, I have talked to his door until I am blue in the face. He'll come to us when he's ready. What if he doesn't? <laughs> then maybe you'll float away. That's good, Harvey. Our son is lying in there with a broken heart, listening to music about suicide, and you're making jokes. That's good. But dead and gone, Harvey. What kind of a name is that? I hate that music, Harv. Everybody's got to handle it their own way, Mary Beth. Me, I bought hair dye. Hair dye? Sure. Jenny Langostini wouldn't go to the prom unless they had a mustache. You dyed your upper lip. No, no, no. I already had a mustache. You just couldn't see it unless the light was right. So did this uh, Langostini, did she decide to go with you? No, I was uh, allergic to the dye, so my lip had swelled up big for a week, and I had to wear a Band-Aid. Oh. Well, she didn't know what she was missing. She... Do you like my mustache? I love all your hair. Hello? Yes, Chris? Well, oh, that's OK. Uh, what's wrong? Are you all right? Now? OK. I'm on my way. I'll be there, Chris. What is it? Where are you going? Something is wrong with Christine. Can't wait till the morning. I have to go, Horf. Chris. Yeah. 
Come on, America. Chris, I was just making some coffee here. You want some coffee? It's a new blend okay. I got in that little shop over on 8th. It's a Christine. Jamaican blend. What happened? Like, don't. What happened, Chris? Are you hurt? Did somebody hurt you? Sorry, I can't offer you a drink. The cagney cupboard's a little bare right now. He said the, his car battery died. Oh. He was so strong. I, my arms. I'm a strong woman. You know that. Don't you? But he held my wrists and I couldn't move my arms. Oh, Chris. Did somebody break in here? Brad needed to use the telephone. Brad. Brad Potter? Yeah. His um, car wouldn't start, so he had to make a phone call. And he raped me. What? He raped me. Just one more swab for the slide. Relax now, please. Relax. Drop your knees a little, okay? That's fine. You're doing fine. Okay, Miss Cagney, another quick look around, make sure everything's all clear. Please, uh, open a little. Relax, Miss Cagney. Is there any pain here? No. no. Everything looks pretty good. Doesn't appear to be any internal injuries. Great. I'm going to take the speculum out. Relax, relax. I want to do a pubic combing for evidence, and then we'll be finished. I know this is tough. Just hang with me. I need to comb. Can you raise up a little, please? That, that's okay. That's good. Not down. I need a little more room. Relax, please, Miss Candy. We're almost done. Remember, the rape counselor wants to see you before you leave. I'll check back and we can discuss the test for VD, AIDS. We'll need to keep your clothes. Did you bring a change? I'm sorry, what? Do you have any other clothing? Yes, my friend. Good. You can get up now. Looks like you're going to be just fine. I'm sorry this had to happen, Miss Cagney.
Thank you. The detectives from sex crimes are here. Thanks. They're both men, Chris. Look at the drawer. Well, you could request a woman if that would be better no, for you. No, I don't want anything that's some extra special treatment. Well, it makes it worse. Oh, boy. The DA's gonna love this one. The department, too. What am I doing here, Mary Beth? You're taking care of yourself. No scratches and no bruises. Hell, the doctor said I'm going to be just fine. You don't have to have bruises. Well, a couple of sore wrists and a little semen don't add up to much. You were... you were raped, Christine. He said he was gonna kill me, Mary Beth. He grabbed me and he shoved me against the wall. First, I didn't even know what was happening. He had this look on his face, so that... In the eyes, you know, it was this hate. I'm gonna kill you, bitch, if you don't do everything I tell you to. That's what he said. And then he put his mouth on. He whispered that he'd have fun watching me die. So I uh, let him drag me to the bed. And I let him do whatever he wanted. You did what you had to. So what do you think, detective? You got a solid case here? How many date rapes have we seen ever get past for limb? Things are changing all the time. How many, Mary Beth? You're a credible witness. This is different. You're a cop. Right. You did the right thing, Chris. You're not gonna let this bastard get away with it. I got news for you, partner. He already did. Six two. Six three between 170 and 190 pounds. He was fair complected, had brown hair and a mustache. His eyes were dark. I believe they were brown. Sergeant. And I don't know any more distinguishing marks to give you it now. Sergeant Kane. Yes. I think we've got the general idea. Uh, what Detective Mahoney means is we already have enough to get an address. Just want to be sure. Now we'll pick him up, and then you can come on down and make a positive. I'm sorry, I know this is difficult. Let's just get on with it, please. You said there was penetration. I beg your pardon? You said there was penetration. Yes. Did he sodomize you? No. Did he force you into all corporate? No. Did he display any weapon? I told you that he threatened me. You said he would have fun watching you die. That is correct. That was the threat. Well, what do you think? That was one of them. But he never showed a gun or a knife, no weapon. He didn't have to. Have you had sex with any other men in the last 72 hours? No. Well, when was the last time you had sexual relations with this man? I never had sex with this man. Are you taking any notes here? I'm just trying to get your story straight. I think she's giving it straight. Only I'm still confused. The sergeant said she let him kiss her. Was there anything leading or uh, suggestive in this kiss?
feeling any better? I couldn't find your sheets. Where are they? I'll make up your bed. No, no, I'll get it later. Harvey would like this coffee. I really ought to buy those fresh beans more often because we still have that grinder that you gave us two Christmases ago. I'm taking reports 19 years. I'm talking to women. How come I don't know what to say now? Chris, I would do anything to make it so this never happened. Mary Beth, really, I'm all right. I just need to get a little sleep, that's all. I, I wish you'd come back to Queens, stay the rest of the night. I just can't talk about it anymore right now. And you should get home to Harvey. Ralph could take care of himself right now. Well, so can I. Oh, gee, Chris. Invite me over. I can sleep on the couch. Mary Beth, listen to me. I know you're trying to help me, but this is my home. I have to learn to be safe here by myself. OK. I don't want to catch you pulling guard duty at my front door. Mary Beth? <laughs> OK, Sarge. And I appreciate everything you did. I haven't done anything. Yeah, you did. Whatever you need, call me. Whatever time, I don't care. Promise. stores. No. The one six had a different ammo. Well, I thought if there was a match, that is what I'm trying to find out. Well, it's been a joy getting your cooperation, too. Hello? What can I do for you? I just wanted to say... You know what kind of cop I think you are. Ever in my thoughts. I think you're one of the best. And well, if there's something I could what is somebody. The point, Victor? Well, I don't care what anybody says. In my book, you're still at the top. Morning, Christine. Hey, Beth. Don't forget what I said. Well, Victor won. Nothing. You didn't have to come in here today. Yeah, I did. I went by sex crimes. Mahoney and Cummins won't be dragging their feet on this one. Can you? My office, please. Dan, thanks. How are you doing? Fine, Lieutenant. No, I, I mean, uh, how are you feeling? I, I, I just uh, got the 49 now. Well, 
Okay. I think I know what you're trying to prove. I'm not trying to prove anything. I reported a crime. Wait, hold on a minute. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is what the hell are you even doing here? A woman has a thing like this happen to her, she should take some time off. I would rather be working. We have a lead on, on the computer heist, and I'd like to... Lacey will handle the case. Look, do, Tanner, just don't do this to me, all right? It's going to be hard enough with those people out there thinking I can't hack it. I don't need you pulling the plug on me. Peggy, please. I want to work. See a counselor yet? In the hospital. I'm supposed to go to a support group later today. All right, Cagney. Okay. But I want you to listen to me, and I want you to listen good. I don't want you within 10 miles of that scum. If I hear one word... I'm not a vigilante, Lieutenant. You're my second whip. You let sex crimes handle this. Fine. Understood? Yes. They pick him up yet? No. I'm sorry as hell about this case. Well, that'd be all, Lieutenant. Yeah. I guess you couldn't get to a gun, huh? It was in my dresser, where I always keep it. Samuel said, guess you couldn't get to your gun, huh? Look, I was supposed to jump up and just shove it between his legs and pull the trigger on that bastard. <laughs> when he climbed off of me, I couldn't move. So I just let him walk right out the door. You were in shock, Chris. What do I want to get started in all this for, Mary Beth? I know all about sex crimes. Did the lieutenant put you on leave? He said I could work, as long as I didn't work on this case. Did he say anything about your partner sticking her nose in? Sex crimes already staked out his apartment and his, and his office. He hasn't shown up either place. What about his clients? I mean, a broker's always in touch, aren't they? No clients. He's the president of the firm. <laughs> it's terrific. I met that bastard, Harvey. Seemed like a nice man to me. I didn't sense anything. I told her, call him back. That music is going to drive me insane! He cannot hide up there in that room forever, Harv. Wasn't that long ago you wish you could like him up? When? When did I ever want that? First day of kindergarten. That day the neighborhood bully wanted to knock his block off. When he wanted to ride the subway alone. You were so scared. Yeah, you weren't. Harvey, promise me that uh, to finish this job, okay, tomorrow, because I don't want these brushes sticking up my food all week. I miss our son, Harvey. He used to come to us. He used to let us help him. I miss him too, Mary Beth. And I kept going over and over in my mind. That there must have been something, you know. There, there just had to be something. I don't know what I missed. This isn't supposed to happen to me. No, it's other women. Like uh, Sarah, there was this uh, woman I knew named Sarah. She was a cop and she got raped. I uh, said to her once that I 
I understood what she'd gone through. I guess it was just so easy to say. Why didn't you call me? I needed some time. What are you doing? You shouldn't be staying here. Wait a minute. You stay with me for a while. No, David. And I should stay here with you. David, no. I can handle this myself. Please. You can't even sleep in your own bed. David. We had dinner together. It was a date. There's no need to explain. I let him see me home. It doesn't matter. David, don't do this. Please don't act like this. this. I kissed him. Well, damn it, say it. Say something. What do you want me to say? Did I like it that you go out with him? Yes, I'm sorry. No! Don't touch me, all right? Let's get away from me. All I care about is you, Chris. Thank God you're not hurt. I was raped. I am hurt. Father? What's troubling you? I'm not sure, Father. I hope... Don't be afraid. I think I'm ashamed. Ashamed of what? I don't know, Father. I feel dirty. What are you ashamed of, my child? Do you feel responsible? Joe, it's Christine. I'm in trouble. 
I got a scotch in my hand. No, not yet. Well, then I need to talk. You can't do that. It's already done, Cagney. You concentrate on your other cases. With due respects, we're finally putting together a profile that could lead us to an identification. Doesn't matter. It's too late. Too late according to whom? These computer hits are catching the attention of the brass. And Nelman thinks that... Nelman? Inspector Nelman thinks that you may be a little... Little what? Preoccupied, and uh, he feels a, a fresh perspective on oh, this. Oh, get event. off it, Lieutenant. This is all a bunch of bull. If you want to be treated like a sergeant, Cagney? Then you act like a sergeant. I, I know that the two of you could have made this collar. You're doing such good, solid work. But that's not the point. Exactly. What is the point? Sir? Orders. Our orders. And that's the way it is. Turn over your casework to his Becky and Jordan. Where's she holding it, sir? Sir? How's she holding it? You want my truthful opinion, sir? Well, what is this? I'm asking you, aren't I? I think under the circumstances, Sergeant Cagney is doing remarkably well. No thanks to the department, sir. Let me go on, get out of here. Yes, sir. Easy ones, including the serial numbers and the stolen merchandise, forensic reports, and last but certainly not least, the 5 the 2 one It's grand larceny victim, so don't screw it up. I didn't ask for this, Cagney. I swear to you, he just dropped it on a laps. What'd you want me to do? We can find everything in order. Look, if you were Macy did all the legwork, why don't you just you take Back the assist? Back off, Victor, please. I said you could take the assist. Get away from me. Listen, just take the assist. Sit, leave me alone. Oh. Oh. Can you wait? You can share it, Colin. No matter what your pity. Nobody blames you. Let's get something straight, Victor. I was raped. I did not ask to be raped. I did not enjoy being raped. I was raped. That is sex against my will. My will. Or maybe the word that's bothering you is submission. Well, for those of you who haven't caught the rumors yet, I did submit. Because I wanted to stay alive. And I thought he would kill me. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna apologize to you or anybody else for that. So if there's any problem or any of you think I can't handle it out on the streets, I want you to say it right now. To my face. Lies, you know, all that stuff about us being in control. It's just crap. Why do they say that to us? It's so stupid. I couldn't stop Charlie from dying. I can't stop myself from wanting to have another drink. I can't. Hell, I don't even have control over my own body. I mean, any bastard could just walk in and have his place. Damn it, it is my body! He had no right. I was so frightened when he was on top of me, holding me down, and I was so frightened. I was so frightened when he was on top of me, holding me down, and 
It was like panicking on me and I was so scared. There's nothing wrong with feeling scared, Kristen. I hated it. Hate that feeling. Oh, gosh. I hate the way I'm feeling now, too. The new me, Mary Beth. Huh? What do you think? Three years old? That's funny how that works. You feel like a little girl. What I see is a woman of great courage. <laughs> this was never your fault. <laughs> Christine. Sergeant Keck. Sorry. Yes? They picked up your man and they're taking him to the 8th. The DA wants to meet you there. Thank you, Detective. You want some company? Sure. Call that a fashion statement. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. The attorney advised him against it, but he waived his right to a lineup, says he just wants to talk to you. I'll bet he does. I picked him up this morning coming into his office, claims he took a day off to visit his parents. Nice touch. You don't buy that alibi about being with his family. There's nothing to buy, Sergeant. He doesn't deny having sex with you. I'll be right here. Chris, it's about time. Has your client been advised that this meeting is being recorded? He has been so advised. They picked me up for rape. That is the complaint. Come on, Chris, rape. Tell him, will you? This isn't a very funny joke. It isn't meant to be funny. Oh, my God. You are serious. I've, uh, I've heard of this kind of thing happening. I think it's wisest for Mr. Paxton and myself to meet privately for a few moments. No. I want to know what the hell is going on here. If this is some sort of private vendetta, it's a little extreme, don't you think? Look, I'm, I'm sure we're all agreed that this could turn into a very ugly situation. So is rape, Mr. Nettles. Yes, well, my client says you consented. Well, your client is a liar. Sergeant. Didn't... You more than consented, lady. When you started unbuttoning my shirt and coming on to me, there wasn't a whole lot of room for interpretation. All right, let's all settle down here, shall we? Now, I'm sure I don't need to tell the good sergeant what she needs for an indictment, but let's just assume she had enough. <laughs> this is the kind of story the press just loves to exploit. And then there's the lengthy trial, all your time and efforts, not to mention the unfortunate embarrassment. And for what? The best you can hope for is sexual misconduct. A walk with a fine and probation? We might be willing to settle for that. Oh, I'm sure you would. Sergeant Keck. Yes, go ahead, counselor. Take your time. You two talk about it. I'm not cupping a plea. This guy is Mr. Clean, Cagney. No record. Even if we get a rape conviction, he'll probably walk with a suspended sentence. You don't know that. This way, we're guaranteed a conviction. A misdemeanor? And we avoid a lot of nasty press. Not to mention helping a certain DA with his conviction record. Uh, I'm going to let that slide, Sergeant. That man raped me. Unless we go after him for what he did, right or wrong, all this crap is just worth nothing. Acquaintance rape. Do you have any idea what we're up against? I'll tell you what you're up against. The alleged attack occurred two days ago. Take a close look. 
Do you see any sign of a struggle? There might be a few scratches on my back, but I can assure you they didn't get there from her fighting me off. You son of a bitch. Sergeant. I don't care what the papers say. I don't care if it takes all year. I don't give a damn if I have to sit in that courtroom every day till hell freezes over. I'm coming after you, mister, and I'm going to do everything in my power to put you away. What did I tell you? Cool one minute, hot the next. I understand in prison they have a little different interpretation of consent. It's just like I said in my statement. She got even worse after a few drinks. You know how sloppy drunks can get, always taking off their clothes. You probably don't remember. I remember every single thing. It's time to charge Mr. Potter with rape. How'd it go? I love it when they tie the noose around their own neck. Would you mind telling me what the noose is? Sure. There's a little blood test that the hospital runs for trauma victims. Looking for drugs or alcohol. So? I don't drink. Not at all. I'm a believer, Sergeant. I'll get your hospital records. This sounds like the lady won the first round. Want to join me for the second? What do you got in mind? Go downtown, see Nelman. I like a woman with a mission. I want our damn case back. Christine, I got a scotch in my hand. I'll be damned if I'll apologize to you or anybody for that. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. You want to be treated like a sergeant, then you act like a sergeant. I hated it. Hate that feeling. Tiffany do, run off with the quarterback? We don't know. Bobby Jr.'s not talking. To say the truth, he's not doing much of anything. He'll get over. Her. Just 
six months, all I wanted him to do was stuff a sock in it. Now I want him to talk, he's not talking. Hey, he got dumped, Mary Beth. So today it's the end of the world. By next week, his hungry little hormones won't even remember her name. He's so hurt. Trust me on this one. Huh? I know what I'm talking about here. A little rejection is good for the soul. Time heals all wounds. A rolling teenager gathers no moss. Potter seemed very happy to see you again. Nice shooting, Mary Beth. The man in the elevator today. Gorgeous, terrific sense of humor and perfect teeth. I didn't notice him. Are you accepting his invitation? For what, dinner sometime? Don't hold your breath. Why would he ask for your number? He was being polite, Mary Beth. As I remember, you thought he was very interesting. Scarf looks great, Josie. Thank you. I sat next to him at a French film festival. After three nights of heavy breathing, he looked interesting. I will never understand why you go to those things. Logic's got nothing to do with it. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Potter already had a message waiting Mary on your Beth. machine. All right, OK. You're right. He probably won't call. You're not really dating anyhow, right? Right. Except for David. David and I are seeing each other strictly as friends. Right. You're just not going to let go of this one, are you? Did I say anything? Fine. Just to make you happy, I'll check my messages. Hey, you two taking a day off or what? DA's riding my butt looking for your Murphy deposition. And you said he wouldn't miss us. We shot it over to him yesterday. Yeah, well, he never got it. Oh, this just came in. He said he wanted to look see. Thank you, Sergeant. And how is Mr. Potter? <laughs> I'll be sure and ask. What's that? Uh, it's a computer heist in a 2-1. Does it look like our perps? It's worth checking out. Maybe we'll get lucky. Speaking of which, <laughs> have a nice evening. Yes, tell Harvard Jr. to keep his chin up. There are lots of fish in the sea. And girls. Hello? Is Brad Potter, please? It's lucky the ref didn't toss him out. <laughs> Are you kidding? The team gave him the game ball, autograph. <laughs> the old man sounds like he was a hell of a guy. Yeah, I thought he was. Pop sure loves the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> My father still thinks the Knicks are something you play tennis in. <laughs> you know, it just so happens that I have two tickets for Friday's game. Against Boston? Portside. How are you with the refs? Oh, I'm merciless. Good. You got a date. <laughs> Taxi! Chris, that's OK. I'll take you home. My car's just around the corner. Neighbors who actually look out for each other. Don't tell me you're some New York cynic. No way. I love the city. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I had a nice time, Brad. Is there any chance that I might charm my way in for a drink? Sorry. I just like to take this kind of slow. Slow it is. Thanks. Till Friday. Okay, Friday. Night, Chris. Night.
He's awake in there, Harvey. Come to bed, sweetheart. His light is on. I guess he's awake then. It's hard to sleep with the light on. Harvey, I think we have to try and talk with him again. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts, babe. Mary Beth, I have talked to his door until I am blue in the face. He'll come to us when he's ready. What if he doesn't? <laughs> then maybe you'll float away. That's good, Harvey. Our son is lying in there with a broken heart, listening to music about suicide, and you're making jokes. That's good. But dead and gone, Harvey. What kind of a name is that? I hate that music, Harv. Everybody's got to handle it their own way, Mary Beth. Me, I bought hair dye. Hair dye? Sure. Jenny Langostini wouldn't go to the prom unless they had a mustache. You dyed your upper lip. No, no, no. I already had a mustache. You just couldn't see it unless the light was right. So did this uh, Langostini, did she decide to go with you? No, I was uh, allergic to the dye, so my lip had swelled up big for a week and I had to wear a Band-Aid. Well, she didn't know what she was missing. She... Do you like my mustache? I love all your hair. That's okay. Uh, what's wrong? Are you all right? Now? Okay. I'm on my way. I'll be there, Chris. What is it? Where are you going? Something is wrong with Christine. Can't wait till the morning. I have to go, Horf. Coffee here. You want some coffee? It's a new blend okay. I got in that little shop over on the 8th. It's a Christine. Jamaican blend. What happened? Blend? Don't. What happened, Chris? Are you hurt? Did somebody hurt you? I'm sorry, I can't offer you a drink. The gagging cupboard's a little bare right now. Said that his car battery died. Oh. He was so strong. I, my arms. I'm a strong woman. You know that. Don't you? But he held my wrists and I couldn't move my arms. Pull, Chris. Did somebody break in here? Brad needed to use the telephone. Brad. Brad Potter? Yeah. His um, car wouldn't start, so he had to make a phone call. And he raped me. What? He raped me. Just one more swab for the slide. 
Relax now, please. Relax. Drop your knees a little, okay? That's fine. You're doing fine. Okay, Miss Cagney, another quick look around, make sure everything's all clear. Please, uh, open a little. Thank you. Relax. Relax, Miss Cagney. Is there any pain here? No. no. Everything looks pretty good. Doesn't appear to be any internal injuries. Great. I'm gonna take the speculum out. Relax, relax. That's good. I want to do a pubic combing for evidence and then we'll be finished. I know this is tough, just hang with me. I need to come. Can you raise up a little, please? That, that's okay, that's good. Not down. I need a little more room. Thank you. Let's relax, please, Miss Candy. We're almost done. Remember, the rape counselor wants to see you before you leave. I'll check back and we can discuss the test for VD AIDS. We'll need to keep your clothes. Did you bring a change? I'm sorry, what? Do you have any other clothing? Yes, my friend. Good. You can get up now. <laughs> 